You were saying that monies were paid and you confirmed that the APC indeed paid money to use that venue. Of course. But then uh, your financial secretary, you're saying now, yes. received that money, yes. issued a receipt. Yes. So who is the person who is saying that the APC did not pay? I, uh, I, nobody has said so. Okay, so what would you think was behind? Because the police report says that a disagreement, uh, some faction issues about the leadership of the CDC in your community was responsible for that attack. Is that correct? That is not correct. All right. Because police also know that when we met on the same Thursday, mm. when we met at the commissioner's office, yes. we were addressed by the deputy commissioner of police. Mm -hmm. All the parties were there. The PDP, the APC, and the community leaders. Okay. We are in that meeting. Present. Present. Because on Wednesday, the money was paid on Tuesday. On Wednesday evening, I was petitioned that mm. I esconded with 200,000 naira that the chiefs and elders were not happy with Who me. was petitioning you now? One, uh, Okochiku Olo. That was the day after the money was paid? Yes. Okay. And um, I was called upon. By and he's a member of your community. Yes. We, well, I appointed him as a member. The secretary. So he's an ESCO. Yeah, he's not an ESCO. He's a sec secretary of GMOU. GMOU is a platform that discusses or intermediary between Shell and the community. Okay. So he wrote that petition and I, when I was called and I was given that petition, they were called that evening by the my one police station. Mm. And uh, some of my chiefs were also around. Remember the APC chairman is also a chief in the community. Mm. The APC chairman in Farga is a chief in that community. So I called them. I called my secretary. I called my financial secretary. They were all there present in DPO's office, and we had a discussion. They asked them, what is the problem? And they said, I lured them. I imposed that, or I forced him to receive, that is the financial secretary, to receive and receipted for the money. Oh, the financial secretary now yes. said you forced him to receive the, the money. money. Which I didn't. And uh, what, what, when the money was paid, I need to understand, was he present at the time the money was course, paid? Of course. He was there? The, we had a meeting on Tuesday by mm. 4 p.m. Okay. And the, mon the APC chairman, came Faga, and paid the money there. And, him, and uh, one barrister, Wori, came and came with it. They came and well, they brought the money. The chairman, chiefs, and elder council was on my right side. We were on the side table. I was in the middle, secretary. The assistant secretary, because secretary was not around, the assistant secretary, who took the minute of that day, was by left. Mm. So when he brought the money, I now called the financial secretary. I handed over the money to him. I said, this is the money APC have brought. Because initially, when they informed him, I called him. I said, the APC said, they will want to use the hall. And I have told them, if they, are, if they pay the 200000 naira agreed, they may use the hall. So that evening, they brought the money, and I handed it over to him. He went along with the chairman of uh, APC in Faga and the uh, barrister Wori. I don't know his first name or second name. They went. He resisted. It. They went to his house because his house is not far from where the meeting was held. Mm. He came back to the meeting. And when they came back, there were some persons who started uh, arguing about it. Especially the uh, councillor representing what 11 we had three we have three words 11 12 and 13 so prior to this time there's not been any sort of uh, disagreement among members of your ex school uh, in your community there's not no. so all of this started you're implying immediately after that money was paid, paid yes that was when all of these issues came up came up okay so what then happened afterwards with the councillor um they were, on, they were not happy with me. They said I should return the money. I said, no, they have paid. And I have given approval. 
But you said that there was an agreement and you said that you've done the best that you can with your uh, uh, members of your uh, uh, leadership board to ensure that every political party has a playing field, level playing field to mm. campaign yeah. in your community. Yeah. So what could be responsible for some members of your ex saying, no, the money should be returned? For me, I think because majority of them are members of PDP. Um, the are you a member of the PDP? No, I'm a civil servant. I'm a, I'm non-partisan. I'm non-partisan. Okay. But I may have support for a candidate. That does not mean that I, I am a member of PDP. So you have or, a support. Or any political party. So you have support for a candidate, is of what course. you're saying? Yeah. Is it by, is there by chance anyway that they feel the candidate you have support for is not the one that they are rooting for as members of the PDP? I wouldn't know because they did not know. I have not made my... Uh, candidate not to anybody it's left for me the day of election i will go and vote whoever i wish so you think because they are pdp members mostly it was responsible for why they wanted you to return uh, the of money. course of course because if not why as soon as the money was paid everybody started be be even before that around two o'clock uh, one of them called me and said he he had that apc want to use the hall the playground i said yes he said no i shouldn't allow it i said no we have taken a resolution that any party, political party that wants to use the rally hall should pay 200 And they all agreed to that resolution. Of, of course. That was in October last year. So he said, okay, the PDP also want to use the hall, uh, playground. I said, well, on the same day. On the same day. And I said, he, whoever that pays fair, I will give him access to that uh, playground. Mm. Fortunately for APC, they were the ones that brought the money. PDP uh, never came. Thank <laughs> you.